Hello, everybody. Rocking the the crimped hair. But I thought I would go live for a little bit um, and kind of take in everything that's happened um, this week. And it's been a wonderful week, and I honestly don't know what I could have done without my team, my family, my fans, everybody out there supporting me and um, feeding me just amazing, amazing energy all week. Um, it's really crazy to try to harness all of that energy, all your nerves, all your um, all your feelings, and to try to go out there under the lights and perform. And um, it really, it really was amazing to get that W. So I just wanted to thank all of you guys. I know we said we'd try to go live a little bit more, but when you're getting in the zone. You in the zone. And I'll probably end up posting pictures of all the fun stuff and all my favorite um, memories of of the week. Throughout this week, I guess. But um, I want to thank Felice for an amazing fight. You know, her and I have been in this game for a long time. Over, over a decade. And... Um, there is something great to be said that um, we're both still here and we're both still learning and growing and I wish her the best of luck. Um, but last last night was going to be my night. That 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 was that's that that was my mindset from the beginning of camp. So, hey Professor Bernata, I wish you were with us. <laughs> Where? Let's do lunch tomorrow. Dude. We won, coach! <laughs> I just got all teary because Professor Barata's in Brazil right now, and he was a huge part of my camp, and um, I wish he was there with us last night because um, it definitely was a team effort. If it wasn't for my husband, Josh, Professor Barata, Coach Wink, Coach Jackson, Coach Joey, this little one, <laughs> my mom, my sister, my teammates, Kayla, Bree, Celine, Holly. Holly. I mean, it takes, it really does take a team to, to, to get these victories. So I, I hope everybody knows. Ask uh, Barata when he gets back. Professor Barata, when are you getting back? Gotta get back to work. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for all the congratulations. And what a crazy night, huh? If, if, if you have a favorite. If you have a favorite moment of the night, what would it be? I would have to say uh, the Beast's um, post-fight interview was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Great fight. Those kicks. Um, on to the next one. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Jada. How are you? I miss you. Hopefully we see you soon. I didn't like Connor being jumped. Yeah, that was crazy. That whole thing was crazy. I don't know what's going to happen with all that. Could be jumping out the cage like he was an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you wear the rope on your head? Um, the rope is actually called the moncon. And it's um, it's traditionally uh, for Muay Thai fighters. But my, um, my culture is Thai. My mom's Thai, so that's a big part of my culture. And it is... Um, a way for the fighter to show respect to their opponent, to show respect to the to the fans, to show respect to the teachers, um, and for all the other past fighters and warriors that have have lived. So it's just um, it's a tradition in, in Thailand. Hello, everybody. The aftermath is, is really died down. Yesterday was crazy. I'm sure they'll be talking a lot about all the fights that happened outside of the octagon in the arena. My, my family was sitting in the stands, and after my fight, they grabbed them to come backstage with us to hang out. And we wanted to go out back um, back outside to watch the, the, the last fight, and they wouldn't let us go because they didn't want... Uh, anything to happen to this little one 
which I'm glad they didn't let us go because it got crazy. There were people fighting. Khabib jumping out the cage like an eagle. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. But it's, it's a trip, right? Because Connor didn't press charges on any of them. Which is, I mean, I, I don't know how I feel about the whole situation. I think that if Khabib would have been able to kind of contain his emotions a little better and, and just let his victory do the talking, he would have gained a lot more fans. But with that being said, you know, McGregor did make it personal when he talked about his family and his country and his religion. Those are things that are really sensitive to talk about. But um, I, I, in my opinion, I think that he would have gained a lot of fans, even even a lot of the Irish fans. They, they they're just they're just truthful, honest people. So I think if um, Khabib would have just accepted the um, the victory the way yeah. he did, he would have gotten a lot of respect yeah. from from a lot of the fans um, on both ends. But also he held the choke way long. Somebody said it was. You think he held the choke for too long? Yeah, way that can longer. that can be dangerous, huh? We're so proud and happy for you, girl. Can't wait to celebrate with you when you get home. Thanks, Janelle. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Let's talk about how cute Araya is. How cute are you? So cute. Auntie Shana did your hair, huh? Uh-huh. She wants to keep her warrior braids in until Monday so she can go to school and show all her friends. <laughs> Connor talked more crap to Mayweather, for sure. That's what somebody said. Yeah, no, I don't Yeah, think. that's true. Do you think? Yeah. Well, he didn't. But Mayweather kind of just let it roll off his shoulders. No, I get all the personal stuff, but this was during competition. If it's that personal, then hey, let's talk after So you're thinking, stuff. don't do it during competition when there are when there are there's, spectators there's, yeah, in, the, in the stands that can potentially get hurt? Get hurt, or now they're emotional. Want to join in? Mm-hmm. If you still have shit, then hey, bro, let's meet after this. We still got some shit to handle, and let's meet now. Now do the location thing, right? You know, you bring ten of your dudes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right now. They're not gonna. I don't know what's gonna end up happening. I know McGregor wants a rematch. Yeah, it's money. It's money. <laughs> I heard yeah, money. He's a businessman. What's your other half tie and what? My dad is. Uh, Caucasian, so Italian Caucasian. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the congratulations. Yeah. How did your mom react to the win? Let's see. Let's ask Yaya. Yaya, how did you react to the win? Oh, I know you're gonna win, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mom, um, I was seeing a video and you were like saying, "That's my girl. Yeah, That's I, my girl." Yeah, I say that. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> How did you react to the wind, Daddy? <laughs> so I have a relief, huh? I have a relief. Put those elbows to use. Put those elbows to use. So I'm I'm being honest and truthful when I say Joshua is one of my main training partners. He's really trying to have me be more aggressive. Well, on the ground. But... Yeah, it's aggressive. It's a fight, girlfriend. So he's trying to have me be more aggressive. And um, so he's been putting headgear on and having me throw heavy ground and pound. And a couple times, um, <laughs> a couple times, my elbows like came through the headgear and we thought that we split them open. But uh, thankfully, nothing, nothing bad happened to him. And he has a hard Mexican head, so... <laughs> So, um, but it's good. It, all those elbows got put to use. <laughs> Josh, my ninja, I miss you guys. Send you big hugs. We'll give, give big hugs to Rhea. Professor Barata says big hugs for you. <laughs> we miss you too, Barata. Have fun out there. We'll see you soon. See ya. I wasn't able to get the submission, but we still got time. Mm-hmm. 
what was your uh, what was on your head when you walked into the ring? So, it's called a mongkon, and it's a Thai it's a traditional Thai head dress that you wear to show respect to your teachers and your 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 career, your profession, and all the ancestors and, and your fans and your, your family. And your uh, family. <laughs> your mom is the best. Byron, good to hear from you. Josh is always so relaxed. You no, know, you guys don't see the the stress, the 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 stressful man yeah. and the mean guy <laughs> that I see. <laughs> When's your husband gonna fight again? We'll get her back on Thursday. We'll have a fight Thursday. <laughs> Josh, how nervous do you get when she fights? Mm, not too nervous. I mean, just um, if anyone's ever competed, it's more of a... Uh, I have no control right now. It's just all the work that we put in mm -hmm. at this camp because we worked a lot together. Uh, I wasn't nervous. I was confident. Um, as a husband, I got to kind of detach myself from all that and, mm -hmm. uh, and be a coach and find the openings, but... Well, tell them what you were telling me was going to be funny because they mic'd you. Oh, yeah, well, my, everything, you know, Michelle's still my wife, right? So everything is like, you know, I will the fuck out of her love, you know, cover her mouth, babe. <laughs> ends with the favor, love. So it'd be funny if they actually let you guys Picked hear. up on that. <laughs> but it, they picked it up, but if they let you guys hear it because everything was, you know, cuss word, do this, do that, love, cuss word, do this, do that, babe, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I really do just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and send you all my love. I really want to you to know that I appreciate all the love and the energy and support and um, just everything that you guys have always done for me um, over this journey. And um, let's let's get to the top together. Love you guys.